Hello, welcome to part 6 of set 3 of my Civilization 4 playthrough. You know, there are so many things in this playthrough that I'm just not doing. Um, but, never mind. <laughs> I'm not using all the civics, I'm not using the specialists very much. Uh, I should show you what city specialists actually are. Oh, no, it's culture, that's not culture, that's something. Oh, met another leader. Ancient Greece. Oh, are we? Open borders, yeah. Anything else? Theology, um, well, I don't need it because I've got all the religious civics now anyway, so quite. mean up here somewhere is some, some Greeks? No, it's just barbarians and sheep, fish. What a strange world. Dusseldorf. Khmer. Look at how things are progressing. I've spent some money on spying now so I can actually see what the other civilizations are like. Umber light green, Mehmed is dark green. Gold, moo, mm, it's up and down all the time. I, I'm usually losing money at the moment, it seems. Manufactured goods, ooh. Yeah, I'm not doing very well there by my standards. I like to be ahead. Crop yield. Yeah, pretty poor. Power, poor. Culture, very good. I think I'll stick with culture <laughs> as my technique. Espionage, so-so. <clears throat> Top five cities. Axon, that's mine. Gondar doesn't show in the top five. I'd hope that it would somehow. Demographics, how am I doing generally? Ranking pretty low all around. I think I'm not using my specialists enough, I'm not using workers enough. I'm going to make a bunch of workers and set them on automatic and let them change things which have already existed. I think that's the thing to do. But let's look at specialists. These are these guys, unhappy people who don't work. Oh, hmm. I need to build some temples or something in here to cheer this city up for a start. Priests. You can change citizens into work, into priests and what have you. But it takes them off production. Um, and the priests, well, they give you production and gold and great people birth rate. And every now and then a prophet or a merchant or somebody will turn up. And the makeup, the chances of this depends on which type of citizens you're, or specialists you're creating in your cities. Um, basically, if you add a bunch of artists, then you tend to get great artists, and so on. It's up to you. Or you can leave it for the game to figure out what it wants to do. Which is what I usually do. Because there's a lot of things to manage. And I like to look at the bigger picture still than that. Anyway, micromanaging is not really my favour. Of course he wants optics. It's not happening, matey.
You do just this city, I think, because it, it needs doing. You two workers just sitting here doing nothing in this city. Just this city. And he's sitting down and doing nothing, so you might as well just be a general pet. These two separate them out. You can be a general purpose automated guy, and I will allow you to change things that I've already said. Um, including this here. Because it's not growing, they may well turn one of these into a windmill. Plus one priest from production from priests in all cities that have it. Concerned to turn three citizens into priests. So excellent. But like this city needs cheering up above all else. So theatre. Um, production, 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 production. And I can, if I want, go in here. It looks like now and I can turn three citizens into priests. Has it done it already for me? Yeah. Just leave it alone then. I've got three priests already. Maybe it's done. It's starving. Hmm. Well, it's not happy enough, so the theatre will help cheer that up. Worker just fully automated, do what you like. Defend the city. Fully automated worker, do what you like. Fully automated worker, do what you like. Whoosh. Me in two turns, and I can start populating some of these islands for no good reason, really. Oh, met the jolly old Egyptians. Open borders. Anything else? Not really. I'm actually having some difficulty expanding in this game because um, I have a small patch of fertile land I suppose I'm not going to trade optics at the moment. People are still not happy enough. Well, I don't know. Not much I can do about that. I can build a monastery anyway. Um. Ooh, Gondar has built Notre Dame. Plus two happiness in all cities. Just the thing. Mm. 
and somebody has founded Islam. Oh well. I should be able to build a galleon. Confusion missionary, go for it, man. Just find somewhere and convert it to my religion. Usually it'll find my cities, which is fine, because some of them need it. This city here. <clears throat> now the galleon can go down here and pick up Sephora and what have you. Defend this city. Still not cheerful enough, is it? Colosseum then? Theatre? Shop the market. Little stable. Yeah, I will produce a worker next. Good thinking, Matt Batman. Or whoever you are. Alright, now, Galleon, I'm going to send the settler, a worker, and a longbow man. Right click on the ship and decide which bunch of sheep I'm going to settle first. Them, them, or shall I go for a bunch of land mass where they can support each other? I think it's probably a good idea. There is, after all, copper and clams here. This would be a good spot. It'll annoy the Romans a bit, but they're weak. Not that I'm that strong militarily. Nobody else is getting optics, thank you. Literature, Ooh. banking, gunpowder. Oh, ha, ha, ha. One of my special units. Sistine Chapel. Oh yes. Plus two culture per specialist. Plus five culture for, from all Taoistic buildings. Oh, that can't be bad, can it? Sorry, Confucian buildings? I don't know, whatever it is. It's Confucian, that's what it is. Uh, let's build a galleon. Build a theatre then. Well, the worker, you can support this city. Thank you. 
How well defended is Addis Ababa? Not very. churning stuff away. I'll build a stable so why not build a few knights? One, two, three. That's holding down shift and clicking. Or you can do shift puts them at the end of the list, control clicking puts them at the beginning of the list if you want to jump somebody in front. Open borders. Anything else? Nope. time therefore hmm. to make my own bunch of settlers and what have you. So first of all, I'll have to get some walls going. Um, Alright, and a grocer. Now I want A mace man, a worker, and a settler, and a galleon form. Harbour for a bit of money. We're finally connected to the gold <laughs> to all this time. Um, Galleon, I guess you come down here for now. I want to spend a bit of money on culture to expand my borders a bit. There we go. I'm making a financial loss at it, but hopefully I'll fix things up later. Ship can go. Where was the other one going? Up here somewhere. I'll put another city nearby. So that one's going here, hopefully. So if I look up here a bit, there's room for a city here, say. a knight and he has a withdrawal chance just like anything else. These guys are quite strong, 10. So a 10% increase makes it 11. Now they don't normally have a withdrawal chance knights so there's not much point I think in giving him that. I think their strength is their strength so oh, I need more strength now. Flank attack against catapult and trebuchet. Immune to first strike. I can increase strength even more. Strength against melee units, strength against siege weapons, healing, more strength for now. The Sistine Chapel, hooray! <coughs> 
all these super duper specialists culture stuff to boost my culture I have a galleon here but I don't have anything to do with it so let's after the work boat I shall build myself some sort of guys to go on board it Do your local city, matey. There you go. It's like the council workers, isn't it? All oh, rats. The Romans are already here. Well, that's you know what that isn't actually entirely surprising. Um, let's get these. Well, they've all moved, so we'll just have to wait now. Skip. Skip. And the Spanish are here. Oh, brilliant. I don't like this. I'm supposed to be stealing all these new lands. <laughs> so I have some special units. Whoa ho ho ho. Build some of my funky units, shall we? time clearly. What about further up the coast? I'm going to plonk somebody here but it looks like the Romans are already there. Let's just have a look here shall we? Plus 25% against gunpowder units. I'll probably need to do something like that with them because once gunpowder comes, knights start to become obsolete. So. But where can I explore with my boats? This, this archipelago looks good, actually. If it is an archipelago, it's, a, it's, part, of this, it's part of the land mass, isn't it? Hmm. I could uh, get this section, I suppose, pretty easily. And there's corn and fish and sheep and somebody. Hmm. Very interesting. gold. Now, these units have two to three first strikes. They're immune to first strikes and they suffered less collateral damage. 
So what do I do if I want to boost them? I can give them plus two more first strikes. I can give them 25% against armoured units. Well, that'll be useful eventually. And against mounted units. Isabella likes elephants. I'll, I'll mix it up a bit. I'll do some, some of it. Okay. Come on, Tokugawa. Open borders, for goodness sake. <sighs> what annoying so-and-so you are. Well, let's go back home then. Back to joy old Gondor. Nope, I'm not going to help you travel across the oceans yet. This city isn't actually growing. It's healthy enough. I need some of my guys there. At least three. There we go. Got to get the culture going, I suppose, first. And you can do this city. You can just defend. Right, now you guys. Oh. Haven't built a galleon yet, so snooze. Right. Don't know where you're going to go anyway.
on board the galleon, please. And the galleon is going to go... Where? I mean, this peninsula, maybe... Now these guys, they've left the ship, haven't they? So, what if they're to... Is that mine? Yeah. Well, they've all moved, so next turn. Skip. Skip the turn. Here we go. All of you, get back on board, right click for the, and the ship can now go to join these, these other guys over here somewhere, where was it, there, so if someone's going to go here, I think somebody should go here, the pigs and the horses. And that's going to be the end of it, except I'll probably have to do something now because I've clicked the next turn button. It's going to go there. Up with the other two somewhere. Maybe up here. Looks like a good spot there, doesn't it? Something like that. And that's the end of part six. So, see you in.